All right, so what I realized is that editing is one of the most important things in video production, and it's also one of the most difficult things. It's one of those things where a lot of people just don't exactly know how to do it. It's very hard to understand, and for a lot of reason, because editing is more of a mindset. Like, it, it will change. There's not really a lot of hard rules. I mean, there are some hard rules, but you need to really understand how to deal and work with uh, files with video with uh, dialogue with the storytelling with music there's a lot to it and so I wanted to just go ahead and start making some more tutorials to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to actually uh, do some video editing and you know help you just you know in, you know uh, find solutions to the things that you're gonna encounter on a regular basis all right so I got this clip right here and basically I wanted to show you this common problem. So I'm using an audio bed, an audio track at the bottom from Artlist. And, um, you know, usually they're all pre-made. And so uh, you can't really move stuff around too much. But it's really, really important for the storytelling and for, the, for just the overall product, like where things are placed. Now, look at what I have right now. I've gone three weeks, four weeks without seeing my family. I've gone 30 days without seeing my family. We, unfortunately, we condition our families to, to deal with that too. Okay, so there's a little sequence here. They're talking about how, how long they've been away from their families. And there's a problem here is that uh, the audio hits um, basically not at the right... Uh, not, he's not finished talking when the audio hits. So we're Condition our families to, to deal with that too he's continuing his sentence and just rule number one you want to play with the audio track you want to make sure that everything is in harmony so the uh, better way that this would be is that if he finished saying everything he said and then boom and then it hits that's kind of like the exclamation mark so if it was something more like this to deal with that too right that's a lot better it's a lot more fluid and it's a better transition into the next scene okay but there's a problem because it's uh, there's too much talking. So what do we do? What do we do now? If you notice this clip, I've here, gone through the reason why this clip is like that is because he actually took a long period of time to get from one thing to another. So what I did is I just cut the uh, in between and tried to piece it together to make sense. So I've gone 30 days without seeing. So his I've gone 30 days, right? So um, it makes sense and it sounds good, but we're going to have to get a little creative here. All right, so the first things I notice is that there's multiple clips, there's multiple cuts. Whenever you can hide a cut or get rid of a cut, that's usually where you wanna go to first because as fluid as it can be is going to lead to a better quality edit. So already here I'm looking, okay, can I cut these clips? This will shave off this amount of time and probably put me right at a good spot in order for me to wind up there. So. Let's take a look and see what happens. So we'll delete that and we'll just grab this and move it over. All right, so. Weeks, four weeks without seeing my family. 30 days without seeing my family. We, unfortunately, we condition our families to, to deal with that too. Okay, so it's a lot better. You know, in my opinion, here's the thing. It doesn't make, it, it, we understand what's being said because this guy said it first. So first and foremost, you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, we cut off some of what the guy's saying. And he's just starting in 30 days with 30 days. But from an editing standpoint, the idea is already understood what they're talking about. So you really don't need it. It's like when you see a movie and they jump from one scene to another scene. It's like, you know, the guy grabs his car keys and the next thing you know, he's at the grocery store. Like we understand that what took place in between there. We don't need to see him uh, unlock his car and sit down and start on the car and put on a seatbelt and drive down the street. Like we don't need to see all that. We just know he grabbed his car keys. He, he walked out the front door. He's going somewhere. He winds up next scene is at a grocery store. That's where he was going. We understand. And, and actually, if you can, if you can do this in editing and drive people along quicker, it's going to actually help you because people don't want to waste their time with details that don't matter or that they already know. So this is, totally within the realm of being able to edit effectively by doing this all right so maybe you had that question you're like man what are you doing you're just cutting off a piece so let's hear it and see what i've gone three weeks four weeks without seeing my family 30 days without seeing my family we unfortunately we condition our families to okay so they're talking about their families 
we know what's going on they're talking about the time the real important aspect is actually the family and that's why I put this clip uh, last is because he's telling he's basically bringing it to a conclusion and saying that um, you know the idea is is that you know we're conditioning our families to to this type of behavior so this guy's uh, part isn't really like we, we just need we're adding for emphasis and variety but it's really it's okay to kind of cut that all right but we're still not there yet because it's still unfortunately we condition our families to to deal with that too okay so here we go we see this this little spot right here where he kind of just drags it along and there's a lot of dead space so we could maybe put a cut right here and just kind of move that over to, to deal with that too we condition our families to, to deal with that too okay now there once again there's a cut to, a to deal with that unnatural we can hide it but i don't like the the stuttering to, to deal with that to, 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 to deal, deal with. right so let's just try to get rid of this whole thing and bring this here we condition our families to deal with that too okay so now what we've done is we've actually been able to mask a mistake at the same time of also to shortening the clip so in the original one he says to 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 deal with that too right he's got this kind of a stutter so we remove that which makes it really really clean and then we've also shaved off a little bit of time to help us get where we're trying to go so what we can also do let's see families to deal with that too okay we're not quite there yet so it looks like now we've shaved off a little bit too much what we could do is bring this over deal with that too okay make sure wherever this is the most important part is we're trying to make sure that we line up with this now if you notice i actually um even though i said you know most of the uh, tracks uh they come already made and you can't move things around i actually added these hits so i could move them over but for the sake of this example and not being able to move stuff over i'm just going to leave them there and try to work with it all right so all right, so we're not there yet. Let's just, this is the most important part. So this is the part we're trying to line up. Deal with that too. Which is good. You don't want it. You want to give it a little bit of, uh, of room to breathe. And actually, if you notice where this ends is where this little swoosh begins. Two. Two. So it's not actually, you know, you might think, well, why don't you just put it a little further? So it, it, Two. you know, and you could, I guess you could. Um, it's not going to make that big of a difference, but I like to kind of just put it where this, that's that's little uh, swoosh is kind of happening. All right, so now it's opened up some some room. All right, so what we could do is we can go back to this guy and we can be like, okay, you know what makes sense for this guy? You know, thirty days without seeing my my family. You know, thirty days without seeing my family. We unfortunately. You know, thirty days without. Okay, that's not too bad either. Now I also notice this guy. I know this guy's in the middle of a sentence. And that's why he got cut off. Um, but let's just see. What family, you know, family, you know, 30. Okay, not so bad. Now we've been able to actually bring his out a little bit more. Family, you know, where he got, was getting cut family, off. You know. yeah. And now we've uh, been able to, let's see, edit, redo, edit, redo. Now we've been able to add some of that back. Family, you know, 30. And that sounds a lot smoother. So let's go ahead and watch it back and see where we're at. I've gone three weeks, four weeks without seeing my family. You know, 30 days without seeing my family. We, unfortunately, we condition our families to deal with that too. Boom. I think that's actually pretty good. Any little minor touches are going to be extremely nominal, but for the most part, that is, that is a good sequence. It fits. We made it fit. And most importantly, what I wanted to just show you, you're going to have a lot of dialogue editing um, concerns or, or problems that arise as an editor. And you really want to make sure that you're understanding the gist of the conversation. What is being said? Because you're going to have to cut out a lot of stuff that you're going to wonder like, man, that seems important. How do you know what's important? How do you not know what's important? If you can overall convey the message, the point of what's being said and do it in a powerful way, then nine times out of 10, that's all you need to do. Nobody's going to know that there was a little clip that was before that or n all they're going to know is what you show them and so this is a real real common problem and i thought i would just show you exactly how i handle it with a live example of a video that i'm working on right now let me know uh, your editing tips or if there's things that you want to see how do i edit this music videos weddings dialogue corporate uh, advertisements whatever it is let me know i want to make those videos to start trying to show you guys more of my process what i do and how i do it 
hope you guys are blessed man and until next time